what if we had, oh, a lap or two more? Things definitely would have gotten interesting. So let's head down here to talk to our winner first. Tiger Colby hopping out with the feature win. Tiger, come on over here. Congratulations, buddy. Nice cold beverage there for you. Uh, talk about that run. I mean, you, you obviously want to take advantage of starting up front, but you had some guys breathing down your neck late in that one. Yeah, he was getting pretty close. Kept looking at my mirror, and he's getting closer and closer, and the laps winding down, and we got it, I guess. So we're here. What were they telling you on the radio? I don't have a radio. <laughs> there you go. Then what were you telling yourself? Just keep going. Absolutely, keep hustling. Um, how does this one feel? You got your first win last year in Fall Fury in about half the size of a field. This one's going to feel pretty good. It feels amazing. All right, who are you thanking on the win? I got to thank my mom, my dad, uh, Ains, uh, Al, Lane, property management. Um, Kobe's all set on tire, seeing it heating, and uh, I couldn't do it with all these guys. All right, awesome job. Nice round of applause right there. Your winner, Tiger Colby, picking up his second career win. And uh, Chris Thorne visiting with the friends over here. Marion's wearing her new t-shirt. Uh, Chris, I got a kind of interesting question for you. This is kind of, I know it varies from driver to driver. Last time you raced, you picked up a win from the pole position. Today, you start deep in the field 17th and come home second. Which is more rewarding to a guy with your resume? Uh, starting deep in the field, definitely, but it would have been even more rewarding to get one more slot. We almost had it. Absolutely, I know you're waiting. Maybe a caution, maybe one more lap would have done it, but uh, boy, you really had this thing as a hot rod tonight. Yeah, it was good. I knew once I got into second, he was so far ahead. I was just, I was trying to reel him in without heating the tires up, and so that way if I did catch him, I'd have something left to try to get around him, but just came up a little short, but it was a fun race either way. Absolutely. Who are you thanking tonight? Uh, I got to thank all my family in the pits. Uh, got some cousins from New Hampshire come up to watch tonight. Some extra friends, so glad to put on a good show. And uh, I got to thank all my sponsors: uh, Tim's Trucking, BPS Roofing, Goggins IGA, Clark's, and Trees Limited. All right, champ comes home in second place today, Chris Thorne. And we kind of call these guys the little engine that could uh, underfunded team, but big on heart, big on talent here behind the wheel of this number 15. They're starting to notice you guys now. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I think we're a little better than we showed because we fell back a little bit. And, and what kind of co what kind of confidence does that build in you that you are racing with Chris Thorne and Andrew McLaughlin and and able to race them door to door and actually get those spots back that you lost them? Well, it means the world to us because I mean I used to race on the Unity, but then they closed, so we're gonna come down here and try to catch up with them down here. Absolutely, you got a good family and crew here. Talk about them. Uh, of course, my dad he does everything for me, and my wife's she's very supportive. Chad always comes to races with us, and we actually got a new sponsor, Survey from Wyndham, and Bill and Bonnie Shippen, they've been great to us this year, so continue that. All right, great job right there. Third place tonight goes to Frank Moulton, Chris Thorne second, Tiger Colby gets the win tonight with the Wood Pellet Warehouse Late Models.